Happy Tuesday, friends. Well, friends, in life, we're going to experience setbacks. We're going to experience delays. In life, we're going to make mistakes. Proverbs 24 verse 16 says this. It says, the godly may trip seven times. In other words, the godly may stumble. The godly may fall. The godly may fail seven times. In life, failure is a very real option. But how we choose to respond to failure is so much more important than failure itself. How we choose to react to failure can make the difference between us never fulfilling our unique kingdom assignment or us fulfilling every single thing that God has already destined for us to do on this earth. And so Proverbs 24 verse 16 tells us that the godly may trip seven times. But here's what it also tells us. It also says, but they will get up again. And so in order to keep getting up again and again and again, changing our perspective on failure is going to be so crucial for our success in life. Friends, failing at something doesn't make you a failure. You may have made some mistakes, but that doesn't make you a mistake. Here's the thing we all need to realize making mistakes, failing at some things, they don't define who you are. Because failure is an event. It's never a person and it's never an identity. Failure is not your identity. Your identity is found in Christ and Christ alone. You are only who God says you are. And you know who God says you are? God says that you're a winner. You're not a failure. God says that you're a masterpiece. You're not a mistake. God says that his grace is more than enough to overcome any mistake and any failure that you may experience in this life. Another perspective that we need to change about failure is that failure is a detour. It's not your final destination. In fact, Failure is a temporary inconvenience. It's not your end, friends. You know, a story that I love sharing so much is the story about Thomas Edison. Now, Thomas Edison is the, the guy that invented the light bulb. Now, history tells us that it took him 10,000 unsuccessful attempts at inventing the light bulb. And so one day, reporters came to him and they said, how do you feel having failed 10,000 times? And you know what Thomas Edison said to them? He said, I didn't fail. He said, I just found 10,000 ways that didn't work. Now, here's a man who had the right perspective on failure. He learned from his mistakes. He learned from his failures and he kept on going. Friends, we can make the same choice too. You may have failed at something, but failing doesn't make you a failure. You're not a failure. Making mistakes does not make you a mistake. You are not a mistake. So let's keep getting back up. Let's keep learning from our mistakes and let's keep pressing forward into our destinies. Friends, you can do it. Always cheering for you. Bye-bye.